get a fourth kill for his team. Queen of Pain double kill, Win Runner double kill, and Orange clean up the LGD forces at the top lane. Shaky start, but great recovery with that black hole. Absolutely amazing. I thought Orange, they were falling to pieces. They lost two heroes straight away. Winter got picked off. VS was already dead. And that black hole won an equalizer. LGD bunched up just a little bit too much and Queen of Pain following up with a big sonic wave and a scream. That was magnificent there from Orange and definitely Enigma saving their bacon for sure. Meanwhile, though, they're actually picking Roche. I think, are they planning on doing Roche? I think maybe they want Enigma to go and start things up for them. Of course, with Furion and Enigma, they can probably actually do that Roche pretty easily at 16 minutes in. Especially, is that a medall is the medallion done? Uh, Furion still sitting on money. But the, with the Wave of Terror, I mean, that's a fair amount of Nega. Oh, shit, it's only level 1. Never mind there. But yeah, with Wave of Terror and a medallion, it actually is pretty easy to pick off the Roshan, especially when you've got this many pets running around. Yeah. Oh yeah, so many summons. You've got the Treants to tank, you've got Edelons as well. Edelons as far as uh, tank, they can tank up a little bit, but they've got great DPS at level 4. And uh, there's plenty of right click damage to take down Roche pretty quickly. I mean, a Medallion will help them out do it a lot quicker, but even without a Medallion, they don't have to worry about taking Roche. And then VS Ice, one in Wave of Terror, one in Aura. We'll see him maybe get a few more in Aura, and that's going to give them more DPS to help take out Roche and to help push down towers. Right now though, LGD making sure they don't fall behind. And this is a team with Antimage pressuring towers, and they're, they're only three towers for two towers, and they're going to go for a tier two tower here. They're basically giving up Roshan for two towers here, and that's a good trade for LGD. They can't really prevent Orange from taking Roshan when Orange have that dire advantage, but they make the best of this situation. And I've got to say, with an Antimage, LGD are in a better position here and are winning this trade-off. As it looks like, yeah, I agree. These two double towers have really good. And of course, having the surf orbs allows them to push really quickly. Meanwhile, Windrunner is going to stay. He's going to take that uh, Aegis. As you were correct, it was a, it was a medallion of courage on the Furion. He has finished that up, so he's going to have all that extra negative armor to stack on top of whoever they want to kill. Which, in this point in time, I think it's going to be mostly going down the anti mage, or even, I mean, even the darks here. It's going to help him get around the fact that he's rather tanky with his vanguards. In fact, he's go for the vanguards first. Working on the pipe now. He's got that cloak. Urn of Shadows there on the Shadow Demon, unsurprisingly. As it looks like Smoke Gank on bottom, they're going to try and pick off Scylla. I don't know how much he's going to do to him, though, because he's sitting on 2.5k gold. I don't think he's really that worried about his farm. And Enigma blinking, though, gets the Malefus down. Incoming stack stuns. There's the Magic Missile. Shackle Shot as well. Pins him to a tree. Easy kill as Winter shows up as well. Pops down the final Medallion of Courage there, just to amplify the extra damage just a little bit. Meanwhile, though, the Amateur going to scream down mid. And the question is, I think Orange are a bit of a... Well, actually, let's look at Queen of Pain. She's got... She's got a BKB up at the moment. Just looking at a farm. She's sitting on 418. 418 GPM. Anti-Mage is 460. So, well, like we said, gods. Queen of Pain, she's a hero with the right amount of farm. Will actually go toe-to-toe -to -toe with high carries in the late game. So, I think, at the moment, she's looking like she's on track for it. Scylla is not that yeah. far ahead of her. So, I think she's quite yep. possible for her to match them in the late game. Especially if her yeah, supports well, are doing better in the late game. Oh yeah, her supports are doing well here, and we'll probably see a Sheepstick as her next big item, I imagine, now that she has that BKB. I don't think we'll see a straight transition to DPS just yet. The main thing is now for Orange, just keep applying pressure, keep taking towers. They've got the Aegis as a backup plan, so KYXO will just be in the front lines, and what a shackle shot! Antimage is really spawned though, we're going to see a bit of engagement. Can they kill Darkseid? Yes they do! That is a massive pickoff. No vacuum wall. This is just now, this is suddenly turned to a fight that LGD cannot take. They have to give up this tower pretty much. And uh, against an Aegis on the winner, and not to mention not having the Darks here, this fight is already lost for LGD. They've, they're going to sort of chip away, but ultimately Orange can get this tower, although it may be LGD where they can get a deny off here, but Orange, big, big pick off, great shackle shot from KYXY. And also, the, I like the fact that KYXY prioritized getting rid of that uh, Pugna Ward. He got rid of that, made sure he's... because his teammates are relatively susceptible to it. Enigma does not like it. And Deepa does not like it. Queen of Pain hates it as well. So getting rid of that water is really... Although Queen of Pain, I think she's immune to it just because she has the BKB. It didn't look like she got hammered by it when she popped in there with the BKB up. So I think the early BKB, for yet another reason, is a has been a really smart choice on this Queen of Pain. Because it's protecting yeah. it from that nether ward. Meanwhile, though, Winter going to be pushing the top lane. Got 800 gold. Going to keep pressuring this top tier towers. It looks like a Shadow Demon DD in a lot of trouble. Pops down the disruption. I don't know what's going to happen. There's a Pugna Ward. Look at it. Hammer the dire side. Windrunner is down already. And now it's Ice and Extinct on the run. Windrunner should be able to get out of there. Or maybe not. anti is giving chase. If he can get down to Decrepification. No. Going to throw a Nether Blast. Never going to hit. She is just too damn quick to run down there. Four Staff is up. No. Decrep. They don't have any follow up on the Decrep though. And Windrunner will be able to get away. And also, we'll look to spam a few powers at the bottom lane to try keep this tower up, but I think this will go down. There we go, Surf Mord's even being dropped. 
And uh, with this, even with a glyph, this is not going to be kept alive. We'll see whether Deny can come. Nope, the Shadow Shaman Lords get the last hit. As uh, Fortune does favour LGD for that tower there. When the glyph gets popped, you can really go either way and does come down to a lot of luck. And uh, that time there, Orange, though, still getting a lot of farm going their way. I mean, having this prop, but he's just in the jungle now. He can just farm remotely. He's actually going to go for a TP in here. Shadow Demon is the one who gets gathered out. Winter pops down the sprout with a medallion, and down will go Shadow Demon. Orange picking up a very straightforward kill. They've lost the Aegis, though, so they've got to play fairly safe here. They won't look to overcommit to any sort of a push here. Maybe just look to chip away at this bottom tier 2 tower as they are dewarding. They're getting the map control up as well as a BKB on this Enigma as he is the one doing this dewarding. Really nice farm on Extinct. And Orange, I mean, they're in a slightly better position here um, in terms of having the three core heroes, whereas LGD just have the one big farming carry Antimate they have to worry about. But Antimate is looking to be pretty scary. He's almost finished his match start, and we're just 22 minutes in. You see Orange trying to out DPS the BD protection. Not happening, though. He has to wait for the creep to show up. Antimate, like you said, busy up on the top. And he has actually, I think, Ice needs to re consider what he's doing here. No, Anti-Mage actually blinks out. I was about to say, Ice is probably about to get his head kicked in by Anti-Mage, but Anti-Mage decides to back out, decides not to fight him. He has picked up a Yasha, he's had that for a little while now. We've also got the Pugner up here checking the top room. Did he bottle anything? Yeah, he found himself a haste. And, uh, what do you think? I think Pugner might go for... I, I'm got, kind of got the feeling he might go for a Hex or a Sheepstick or something next. I don't really think he'll be getting that pipe. I think they'll probably leave that for yep. the, the Dark Sid finish up. Well, the, the, the mech and four stuff, those are his two core items here. And uh, yeah, Darkseid's actually got a pipe recipe already already bought. And it's just a natural item to get on the Darkseid. So Pugna, I, would, I mean, could finish off the hood. I mean, if he really wants some survivability and not turn uh, go to for a full pipe here. But I imagine Sheepstick's a likely item here. Could go for even something like a Necrobook. Uh, anything to help maybe offer a bit more survivability. The entire team, though, has just got so many, so much burst damage, so many nukes. Even getting a vi just a, a raw vitality booster or a BKB up. BKB wouldn't be all that bad on Pugna here. We'll see if they... And a sheep to guy just won't do anything against these dire heroes. So, interesting little play there from Double D. He actually dropped Disruption on himself to spawn illusions, left them to counter ward, and then tried to flee. Didn't happen, though. Got cut off at the pass <laughs> by Winter, who just pointed and spread him, so probably regretting doing yeah. that in the end. Meanwhile, though, Sila kind of hunting around here, thinking about trying to jump somebody. In fact, he jumps in on the Enigma, actually doing a lot of damage here. Pops, is that a... Yeah, he's got the Manta done, Dustin pops a Manta on him, and Extinct has to back up. It's Pugnet's now going to come in and pressure this tower as well, along with the Antimage. Yellow is going... No, that's not Yellow. Windrunner is going to port in now as well. Pugnet with the haste now, fling for his life. Enigma blinks in. He needs to be careful, though. That ward can do a lot of damage to him. And LGD have some nice vision up. They've got this Observer ward in the bottom lane, uh, although it does seem like it's their only work at the moment, but it's a very useful one. They probably get one around that middle lane at some point, even just on top of that ramp above the river. Somewhere where they can just get some map control up for their team and just scout at whatever Orange are doing. See, maybe see a smoke or at least know somewhat of their movement, where they are or at least where they're not. And uh, it is going to be Yamato getting very close to a sheepstick now for Orange. And that's going to be a bit of a concern. I mean, anti mage can be picked off very easily, even with this man style battle for it. Even if you get something like a BKB. With a sheep, you can still pick off heroes with BKB. It's just such a useful tool for Queen of Pain. And we'll see Winner in game one. Winner has actually finished one at this point. Yeah, I'm going to walk into three heroes here in a lot of trouble. The yeah. mech gets popped there by the Radiant side. And even now with the Black Hole, Queen of Pain got a counter-attack. Now here comes the Sonic Wave. Power shot as well. It looks like we're going to lose four heroes. A fantastic result. Holy crap. <laughs> for Orange. What a play. And Queen of Pain, that's, that's the, that's why you go, that is why you get BKB on Queen of Pain as your first item. Mm. I mean, you'll, you'll never see pubs or just mo a lot of players, even competitive players, they'll go for a Lincolns, they'll go for a Sheepstick, they'll go for an Aghanim Scepter, but BKB as a first Radiant's item is power. just so good in the majority of situations. And right there, it kept Queen of Pain alive and it set up a massive black hole. Like Extinct was the man of the hour there. I like Radiant the fact that I saw one viewer in the chat said, Triumph, you're going to eat your words in a few minutes about Queen of Pain, because obviously Triumph, uh, but there's uh, gods, I'm Triumph. Gods, we, we were talking about how we believe that Anti-Mage, oh, Queen of Pain can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Anti-Mage late game, because we've actually physically seen it done before. It has happened. Queen of Pain, with the right amount of farm, can go toe-to-toe -to -toe in a bit of a right-click battle with the Anti-Mage. And as it is, she's gaining the farm she needs, she's getting the kill she needs, and these plays are going large. I've got to say, Queen of Pain, every, these black holes, she's just following up so nicely with her sonic wave and the scream and just the power shot as well coming through there. So much damage this... against LGD. I think they just did not accept. They actually don't have any vision of their jungles. They had no idea she had close support incoming. 
I mean, looking at look at the, I mean, the kill score, it's 13 to 2. Orange have taken 5 towers. It's currently a 5 to 4 tower lead, so no massive tower lead. But looking at this game, Orange should be well ahead. They're actually only... They're, they're only... Mar it, the gold graph is pretty much even at this point. There's about a 300 gold difference between the two teams, and that's because Antimage has been farming so well, not to mention having Darkster and Shadow Demon sort of semi-jungling here. LGD have managed to keep up, but they are behind in terms of levels because of these team fights not going their way. It does give a lot of XP to the opponent, although maybe not so much in terms of the gold department. But right now, LGD, they're feeling confident. Shackle shot. KYXY. Lands on, forces the mech out from Pugna, and here comes the TP right into the middle. It's going to be Queen of Pain. Doesn't get the BKB off. That hurts, and Queen of Pain not coming out to get the engagement that he would have wanted. And it looks like both teams are going to back off now. In fact, Antimage needs to get back to this bottom lane, which is being chipped away. A lot of farm there waiting for him, and Antimage on 4k gold is getting there. He's almost at a point where he can just carry this game on his own, but he's going to need a, oh, he's going to need a lot of items. He's going to need a heart, maybe a BKB. And it's just really going to be very, very tough for him against this dire lineup with uh, two sheep sticks up now and uh, a third probably coming soon on profit. And there we go. He gets blinked on the bottom lane. Queen of Pain not going to get this kill, but it's just, it's just pressure. It's just a bit of harass. Mm. As soon as she him gets, away from this farm. As soon as she gets her auto attack on him, like right now, she's got the damage, she's got the survivability, but oh, she's yeah. just waiting on her right click damage. She just needs it's that Monkey King Bar or the Daedalus. Once she gets one of those, she's pretty much set. She can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Anti-Mage. And with a couple of hexes, it's going to be difficult for Anti-Mage to deal with this. We'll see how he goes, though. I think the DPS item will be next. I think mm. we'll, we'll see that Demon Edge and then MKB or Daedalus. We've seen sort of 50-50. I think MKB is slightly more popular uh, for Queen of Pains, but I think it's coming up next. Unless you want to go for an Orchid, but um, I feel the Silence isn't that useful against the Manta style and Anti-Mage. I'm going to say I agree on those Silence versus the Manta style, but I definitely think the MKB is a better choice because Anti-Mage is likely to get a Butterfly at some point. So it's just going to help yeah. deal with that because it is pretty common. So we see the Hex down there on Shao 8. Pugger is in some serious trouble. Will we have follow-up? There's a good disruption today. The Vacuum in. Yamato, though, has managed to pop the BKB. Nobody... It's not going to follow up, though. We'll actually just blink out. I think this is the right choice yeah. here from Orange. They don't want to oh. overcommit here. They've had a great couple they of team fights. Don't need to throw anything away here. LGD know they need to get out. They're actually chasing. Dark Seat surged himself up and look for a pick up here, but not going to happen. And now Orange just need to get back, defend top lane, and take Roshan. Roshan has respawned, and Orange will look to make use of that. They may in fact go straight to Roshan. They're not even worried about top lane. It's Windrunner who's... No, 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 Windrunner has gone to top lane, but Orange, considering Roshan, they don't want to get caught out there. I think LGD know it as well, and we'll see them trying to get some map control up with some wards. But right now, look at all these sentry wards around the Roshan pit. There's two sentries making sure there's no vision and an observer ward on the high ground for Orange. And it looks like they should get this Roshan pretty much uncontested. Prophet and Queen of Pain just going to do it themselves. Uh, at least that's the way it looks at the moment. As soon as Prophet has some trains, they will have that additional tanking and LGD not reacting at all. I should mention that Anti-Mage pretty much has his heart of Taras done now. He's just waiting on the yeah. recipe. In fact, I think he's about to buy it right now, although he may actually save for buybacks. Nope, decides to buy it up right now. So he's going to grab that up. Queen of Pain now with 1,600 gold. Ice also getting close enough to get to grab that experience as well. He's currently sitting on... 400 gold. I don't know. Looks like he's just... I think they could do with drums. Anything cheap he can find, I think. Drums, another bracer, anything they can possibly afford. Windrunner, though, she's working... I think she's working on a BKB as well. She's got that Ogre Club. Queen of Pain, Yamata, though, Darwin, oh, wow. he's kind of deep in enemy terror. I think this needs, he needs to be really careful, because he's not invincible, and this time around he doesn't have Enigma close by to save his bacon. Yeah, and uh, at the moment with this, uh, oh, it's with this smoke up, they're trying to, they're trying to use this anti-mages bait at bottom lane at the moment, but right now Orange aren't having any of it. Orange is just going to do their own thing. They've got the edges, they're not going to look so much for pickoffs but try and focus on trying to get some towers and get those big team fights here. But yeah, no, I'm sad. It, yeah, like you said, Oblivion stuff, no MKB coming on Queen of Pain. I guess, I guess it could be a silent stick. We, I mean, Refresher would be out of the ordinary and a bit, a bit strange. It's actually not all that bad because you can use the Refresher to refresh that, the Sheep Stick as well as the Ultimate. But I think ultimately it's going to be a sheep stick coming out for Queen of Pain. Also, I mean, it's good against the Darkseer as well. If you can silence Darkseer, prevent him from using the vacuum wall combo. If you're using all your sheeps on anti you need some additional disables to prevent Darkseer owning these team fights. So silence is not the worst item. I would have liked to see a, a, uh, something different though. And there we go. They've gone in on the Darkseer. A bit of miscommunication though. I swap and stun. No follow up from yeah, the rest of his team. Actually, they, they were heading towards top lane. <laughs> they're all off trying to gank that anti major. But somebody has a pipe though. I think Darkseer may have Darkseer. finished the pipe. Yeah, he, he popped it there. Right? <laughs> Panic button on the, on the pipe. 
Although there was nothing coming his way. But with this BKB on Enigma, oh, cheap at top. Can they get enough damage? It is going to be Antimage. It's just so hard to deal with with this heart. And I mean, they're going to have to do absolutely everything at him to actually kill him in these fights. Um, with the medallion, he's a bit more, he's a bit easier to take down and kill, but even that oh, is not going to be a huge amount of DPS. I, lo I love the fact Annie just turns around and immediately chases up, and you see Queen of go, oh, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, when she realizes how much health he has, and just actually turns around. Annie just chasing after him, you want some of this, you want some of this, come and get it. And uh, yeah, basically Orange beating a bit of a hasty retreat there, all four of them just fleeing for their lives. But right now, Enigma, he's got the black hole done, and this is going to be, as long as he, this is going to be a bit difficult for LGD because they've only got one stun that can bring mana out, and that's the mini stun on mana void and anti-mage may not want to pop it that early but we'll see so I hear a BKB get popped Yamaton being forced to pop that so he doesn't get disabled gets taken taken out there definitely doesn't want to lose this Aegis right now wants to save that for the team battle when they're pushing in on Arax in fact they may even try and pressure mid right now yeah and it looks like they do want to march towards that middle lane and uh, there's, it's going to be hard to stop that. I mean, there's all these BKBs on the die team. I mean, Wiron and Enigma have both finished their BKBs now. And that's three BKBs. It's just Prophet and Ventral Spirit missing one. Prophet is building that sheep stick to get, to get them a well, second, third sheep stick. They're going to have three sheep sticks, three BKBs, and just such a strong team fight. Antime is sure he's got a hard up, but I don't even know if he can team fight this. He may be forced even to getting a BKB at this point as his next item, although he will want to have buyback gold from now. I'm not going to see him rushing into a BKB pickup. Especially since he can't afford it as of yet. Wingrunner, preemptive BKB. That was a bit of a mistake there. I don't think he, he got knows vacuumed that up the, He got vacuumed up the hill, so I think it was the right choice yeah. to make. Because he could have just immediately been sheeped there by the Raster, who was very close to him. I mean, if he got sheeped inside the base, there was nobody yeah. there to save him. So I think it was the right choice to BKB in the end. As you see, BKB actually on Shadow Show, and he's actually bought out the recipe, just waiting for 400 gold, and he'll get the Mithril Hammer. But uh, at the moment, Orange, they're just... Ah, the planet cool, just not pressuring in too much. They don't want to overextend. Last thing, if they lose a couple of team fights in a row, things are going to get very, very hairy for them. So I think yeah. this is right no, playing well, safe. I'd say Orange have the slice of edges, but this is like, to me, very, very even. 55 45, maybe Orange ahead. But up against an anti mage, just one of the best carries in the game. And really, LGD, they have managed, I mean, a lot of teams up against this kind of play from Orange would be in a situation where they've only taken one or two towers themselves, but LGD have just put pressure right back onto Orange, forced them back. I mean, that top lane, the tier 3 tower, you can see it's down to about half HP because of anti-mage. And really, it's been four towers in, in exchange for six towers when Orange have such a strong mid-game pushing lineup that LGD have just played this so, so well and helped get anti-mage silent to so much farm. That, uh, he's going to be in the front lines now. He's going to get swapped in, but really, that's not a fight they want to take. And there we go. Oh, Ventures group gets picked off. They almost get the Queen of Pain as well. And this is just not a hero that that I don't see Orange fighting and winning a team fight up against this farmed anti They need to go for the pickoffs. They need to play this smart. Maybe look to play a more push split push kind of style of play. And yeah, Ventures group learning the hard way why we don't pick fights with the farmed anti mage. I think he was really hoping that they'd chain hex him, but in the end, I think his team decided not to, and just sort of went, well, well, crap, I've already gone. We've got to try and make something out of this. Meanwhile, though, Prophet was busy top, didn't even bother showing up. Queen of Pain, though, very low on health. I don't know how long, how long have they got left in the Aegis. Uh, got another good five minutes, so plenty of time to make use of it. Anti-Mage has gone up to the top lane. We'll continue to find that. 3.5. The issue is he has so much money now, even if they kill him in, during the fight, he's just going to buy back straight away. So I think you were right. They should just mass hex him and kill his team, because even if they kill him, he's just going to BB straight away. Yeah, and uh, the, the key here is that to lock down is going to be this Darkseid. If they can kill Darkseid before he pops off the wall and vacuum combo, it's going to really help him out. And with Anti-Mage Sheep, there's not really backup to help keep Darkseid alive. Maybe a defensive Decrep can help, but there's so much nukes and burst damage that I think that may actually uh, speed up how fast Darkseid will go down. I mean, he's sitting on 1300 HP. Sure, he's got the pipe, but Decrep would amplify any magic damage, and he is really squishy. And without, he's basically relying on the fact that Anti-Mage is going to be soaking up most of the damage that to keep himself alive. A defensive disruption could, could be maybe the one thing that keeps this dark seer um, alive in these fights. So really DD is gonna have to be very, very aware and not just not just immediately maybe look to use that disruption to some kills around the anti but focus on keeping Dark Seer alive, because he's the key hero for me for LGD. I'm just waiting for VS now to poke the Hornets. It's like she's like a kid, and she, you see the Hornets there, and says, you know, why don't I go and kick that? She's going to try and swap this anti-mage out again. I can feel it. She's going to try and start another fight. Will they actually succeed this time? Actually coordinate. They've got all five heroes here for a change. All right, there's the VS. She's moving. She's going to go for the swap. There we go. Swap. Incoming stun. No. The Manta stun. Now she doesn't know which one to hit. Enigma decides he doesn't want to use his black hole. Vacuum in, and this is going poorly for Orange. Yamato's taking a lot of damage. 
damage. He still has got the Aegis up and running, though may end up regretting popping the BKB quite so early. Anti-Mage! Uh, no, those are illusions. I don't know where the real one's gone. Oh, he's back over there. So again, VS. <laughs> She's like a small kid just goes, you know what, there's a Hornet's list. Let me kick that. Let me poke it with a stick. And it's just not working. I really think they just need to hex this guy. Hex this Anti-Mage and then kill every... Like you said, just kill that Dark Series. It's, I think, a much better target. Mate, I mean, Orange maybe now just have to sit back and farm. They spent the last 5-10 minutes just trying to go for these 5-man pushes, but it's not really working. They're, uh, they've given LGD a bit of a window to sort of poke back, buy themselves some time, keep on farming, whereas Orange could have just been using the last 5-10 minutes to just keep farming out the map. Sure, Antimage is a great late-game hero, but Orange are the ones with the map control. They can farm out their opponent's neutrals, their own neutrals, the Ancients. They've just got complete and other map control, so they could just be increasing their lead rather than looking to find that opening to take a rack, which is what they've been doing around too. They've been trying to end the game rather than increase their lead, and at the moment, I mean, we're not going to be seeing any new items. The Prophet is still a bit of a way from a sheep stick. They're not getting levels. I mean, VS could have just been getting closer and closer to a level 3 swap. Enigma could be starting to build a new item of his own, and there we go. They're going to go again at bottom. We're going to force some TPs back, chip away at this tier 3 tower, which is getting pretty damn low. You know what, I think it's time for a refresher on Extinct. I think they really need to vacuum in though. Do they have a follow-up to go with it? The tower is down though. KYXY is in the mix. They managed to hex a Pugna. And now Anti-Mage is going to go to town on somebody. He's ready to kick some ass. The amateur very low. He's going to BKB and blink out. But now it's Windrunner who's its turn. She's in a lot of trouble. The Serpent Ward's going to swap out from VS. The Sacrificial land there. Pops a mech actually. Might actually get... No, not going to get away. Will actually get taken. I think Furion's still... Actually, Furion is still over there. Gets killed. And that's two kills yeah. against the Dire side, but they do get the tower, but at the same time, it's stalling and stalling and stalling. And then, like you said, they're falling, they're losing their lead, basically. They're losing that and lead that they were commanding. That's a tier 3 tower, but look at this. We're 40 minutes into the game, practically, and Anti-Mage, well, he's got a bit of gold, I've got to say, and a bit of CS. This is 430 creep kills for Scylla, and he was sitting on 7k gold. He's just bought something big. He's bought, he's going to buy, buy a butterfly. So, butterfly plus heart. There we go. He's gonna buy. He's gonna wait to buy it, I think, just to make sure he has buyback. Because he, even with butterfly and heart, he he still can die to chain cheap sticks. So it is the safer option to make sure he has buyback. But with this tier two tower, uh, we will see him. We will see LGDs. They're now the ones in control. They're now the ones ahead. And that was not a good fight for Orange. They lost two heroes, and all, I mean they almost lost Queen of Pain and Winner as well. Queen of Pain just managed to keep her ages. Yeah, she won't. She, um, she, she just probably doesn't happen for that much longer. Meanwhile, Anti Mage is going to blink back out. They just want the tier two down. Queen of Pain. I mean, for all the keeping the Aegis miss, it's gone in a minute anyway. So, not a, not a huge huge win for them. But she's got the Orchid done and dusted. I think this is going to hurt her, though. I really feel like this is going to hurt her in the end, because she's just not going to have that right-click damage to really keep her auto-attack relevant. She has got 230 a swing, but still not as much as I'd like. I really feel like they needed that Monkey King bar, but we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. And it's definitely and not orange. over by any means. And he's got that Butterfly now, too. That's the other thing I just really worried about. I think the Monkey King bar, it would have really helped deal, because he's got, with the Heart and the Evasion and no way to counter, he's got so much effective health, along with the Spell Shield. Yep. It's just, what do you do with this guy? And uh, now Orange is looking desperate. I mean, they're going for one of those big five-man smoke ganks. They're going to find Sila. He's bought the Butterfly. I don't know if he has buyback gold at this point in the game. They can pick him off. He's being surged up. Nice juggle shot. Can they actually bring him down? They're trying to focus him. But the backup from his team, keeping him alive. There's the black hole. Enigma. Extinct. Keeping Orange in the game. They've killed off the anti-mage. He's got buyback, And though. he does not have buyback. No, no, he no he doesn't. Oh, he's lost enough. He had enough. He had enough. He had what? enough. And he's dead for 80 seconds. Well, he lost all the gold when he died, and now he's dead for 80 seconds. Orange, a big window of opportunity here. The urns on Venture Spirit's going to help heal up some of these heroes. Orange, so they're backing off. You can't go for Roshan. You've got to take a rack here. They're pinging Can bottom lane. No, they're pinging Roshan. They're not going to go for the push I here. I think they oh, realize. I, I don't know. I, I, I feel like they can't push, but they almost have to at least try push at this point in the game. I think this is the right choice. They couldn't push. Queen of Pain was just too low, and she can't. It's not like it's like a Furion. Yeah. He can go back and then come straight back home. Like just come back straight back to push. Or she doesn't have that travels like send Chen sends her home, then she teleports out. If they had that, I'm sure they'd push. But with this Roshan, I mean, they still got 40 seconds. They could try and take the bottom racks if they wanted to. With a cheese now, Queen of Pain could actually heal. But she was still like 200 health. There was no way they could push with Queen of Pain that low. If she still had the Aegis, sure. But the timing of it, the Aegis had just gone away. So un I think it's just slightly unfortunate. Had, they, had that fight occurred two or three minutes earlier, they would have been set to take a racks. But as it is, they were forced to back off.
Yeah, and especially if they came, if they won that fight a bit more convincingly. I mean, they they got a lot of heroes down very, very low. The rebuttal from LGD trying to keep the anti mage alive. I mean, things were looking good until that black hole came. LGD, I mean, th there was not going to be enough damage to kill the anti mage, and LG were going to easily win that fight until that massive black hole from X team really winning his team that that battle I there. What a play! Black hole. I have to agree. You mentioned earlier. I feel refresher at this point. The black holes is what's keeping Orange in this game. So getting a refresher on Enigma, why the hell not go for it? I mean, sure, you can take up with something like a heart, maybe, but not refresher, far better option. Yeah, all or nothing, let's go for it. Meanwhile, though, he's got 2.9k saved up, so I wonder what he'll go for. I really would hike I really would like him to get the refresher, but we'll see. Queen of Pain carrying the cheese. Windrunner has the Aegis there, and now the Hex goes in. That's on top of Yamate. He's in a lot of trouble. Swapped out, though. Still shackled. Vacuum back into that wall. Mech gets popped, and Queen of Pain gets killed before she can even pop that cheese. And this is not looking good for Orange. All three heroes down straight away. VS tries to the save. Doesn't happen, though. Anti Magic knocks off the teleport, and Windrunner's down. They lose the Aegis on top of it. LGD coming back strong. And the question is, will they have enough time to get a Rax? I don't know. 70 seconds on Windrunner. I think they could go for the bottom Rax now. I think they can go for the throne now. But right now, LGD, they have one bad fight, and they, they get upset. They turn things around with just one swift move. They suddenly get a big team wipe and have potentially just won themselves this game. They're going to go right in for this bottom Rax. It looks like Antimage is going to skip right past the screen. There we go. Forces the buyback. Windrunner Queen of Pain do what they have to do. Enigma does have buyback as well if needed. Prophet is uh, doing, uh, just applying some split push pressure. We may see him pop in the ultimate. It looks like LGD not going to get a racks out of this. Actually, TP's home comes from LGD. They're happy they force those buyback and they know with this Antimage they can take this even later if they really want to. And I imagine Antimage may even pick up a BKB fairly soon to help deal with all those sheep six. Yeah, that would make perfect sense to me as well. Pugna is going to take this farmer's line. He has actually picked up a Hex as well, we should mention. Just going to nuke this wave down once again. I think it's about time he traded. Uh, in fact, about time he traded. Either upgraded to travels or traded out the cloak. He doesn't really need that too much anymore. In fact, this is born in time where having travels on a couple of heroes is really going to be influential, so I wouldn't mind seeing it on a couple of heroes. Any hero, almost, just anybody with travels is really going to make things more effective for them. In fact, Anti-Mage, he picks up his BKB now. I think he can probably switch out his treads even for travels as well. Yeah, I... I, I would say I would say you can do that right now, um, or if you re yeah sw switch out the treads here. Um, you could even I mean later on in the game, Battle Fury is actually not that strong an item. It's maybe good if you're dealing against Mega Creeps or something, but Battle Fury the cleave is not really needed in these team fights. You mostly like ta focusing down one target, then going on to the next. I may even sell his Battle Fury for something like an Abyssal Blade if he really wants to mm. as this game progresses, or or if he finds an age, or if they get a Roshan going LG's way, he could easily sell his Battle Fury. We'll see indeed. Meanwhile, though, LGD getting ready to pressure this mid racks here, and currently it should not be buybacks for a, uh, for a Queen of Pain or the Windrunner. So I'm just going to double check. Yeah, they've got the money for it, but the, they are on cooldown for a good three minutes, so if they lose this fight, they're going to lose a racks for sure, possibly lose a throne as well. As Pugna puts his ward down a little bit too close. They get the tower, though, is the main thing. That's what they came for, and they're just going to back off once again. Those anti. Oh, those are illusions. Never mind. Those illusions are so damn tough. Heart. Got the evasion that he's wow. cannot get rid of him. I mean, at the start of the fight, he popped the Manta Staff with a disruption from the Shadow Demon. So there was four Antimage Illusions just going to town on that tower, and it got torn up pretty quickly, especially when you have the Shadow Shaman wards. But both teams still playing it very safe, very slow. I mean, it works for LGD. They've got the Antimage. They get a tier 3 tower out of this, and they, they're still in a very strong position. They can't really lose the game. Even if they lose another team fight horribly to an Enigma Black Hole, this time, well, Antimage will probably have a buyback. Whoa. He needs a bit more gold before he has the buyback. He doesn't have it just yet, mm -hmm. but I imagine before a team fight, he, he should just go into the neutrals and farm buyback right now, but the problem is going to be he doesn't have a TP, so he has to get back to help out his team. He may even want to sell something just so he has buyback. Yeah, I mean, if he loses his it, fight, if he dies in this fight, he's not going to have buyback. He's only got 200 more He's got more a gold. BKB. He's got the BKB, which is why he's so confident here, and he's, you can see he's just standing on the front lines. He knows Blink in from Shadow Shaman and the Dark Sea there as well. There's a swap in. They're going to want to try to focus him down. Shadow Shaman immediately reacting. Can they actually kill the Antimage? Shackle shot. If Antimage dies, this could be the end for LGD. There's your black hole. Is there anything to cancel it? Antimage still alive for now. He's gone in. Pop the BKB. And Orange going to be in so much trouble now. The black hole is gone. They've taken out the Dark Sea. Antimage 
blinks in, finds Winter, Prophet will go down, and it looks like LGD are going to be all right. Not enough damage to kill Anti-Mage. I think it was a defensive disruption as well, keeping him alive, even when he got sheeped up. And there's a buyback from Dark here. LGD, they've had enough. They want to go push. They want to go take this game now and finish things off. Yeah, it looks like this will be ending pretty soon. No buy. Oh, actually, Enigma has enough for a buyback <laughs> if he wants to, but Furion, actually, no. No, no, Fury are not quite having enough. He's about 100 gold shy. That would be frustrating. And there goes the mid racks. That's going to drop pretty quickly. And they can even just sweep the next la or next racks as well. BD protection not doing a damn thing. That oh, yeah, is and so that Queen of Pain actually tried to go back to all the bottom racks. As soon as she hit it once, the backdoor region instantly healed it to full, and she's like, oh, this is not going to work. Anti Mage, he does not give a damn about backdoor protection because he is just farm um, out of control. And he's got four illusions as well to back him up. I just, I just imagine the Queen of Pain just with the O. Oh, okay, face. So sad face. But there we go. Orange calling GG and LGD. Well played indeed. And Orange, sadly, just, they just it's one of those things with push lineups. Just getting over the hump. The final, the final, the really hard part. The really hard part is finally taking that Rax, and as it was, LGD, they stalled them for long enough, made them waste enough time, even though, even though Orange were winning the team fights, those couple of big black hole team fights, in the end it just wasn't enough, and LGD proved to be too strong in the end. I really do question the Orchid though pick, I really feel if she'd picked up the Monkey King bar, she would have been doing so much more damage in those fights, gods. Yeah, it would have been doing more damage here, but I think ult I don't think the the item choice there was the deciding factor of this game. I mean, I agree that was a wasn't maybe the best decision there. I think the MK I, I feel the MKB is better as well, but it wasn't a decision that shaped for this game. It w came down to more the team fight selection there and just Antoine being two damn farms. As I think somebody's asked yeah. me to say, saying I was wrong. I wasn't wrong. I said can go toe to toe. I didn't say will successfully go. To I said can. And in this case, didn't happen. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. This is, of course, only game one, the best of three series. So Orange have plenty of time to turn it around, but they need to win this next match.